I got an overheated compressor, so lots of fun here. Try to get this going and see what's going on. Go ahead and pull the disconnect back there. Okay, so checking the capacitor here. It looks like it's bubbled out. I went ahead and pulled the disconnect. This little air conditioner here. I'm gonna go ahead and discharge the capacitor. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace this little dual cap. Go with that, see what happens. You can see all the oil, oil residue running down. So it looks like we might have lost our capacitance there. Also see a little bit of a bulge on top here. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. Might as well replace that hard start kit at the same time. And get this going here. Okay, replacing a dual cap capacitor here with a single cap. Gonna discharge the capacitor after I pulled the disconnect. I've got my new capacitor here. The dual cap is a is a 35.5, and I'm gonna mimic it, mimic the dual cap by putting a single five and then the, the 35.5 here. And what I've used is a jumper wire in between. So this is like the equivalent of if these two were the same post. That's just like this one here. That's how the dual cap works. So we'll put the yellow start wire on its own post. And then the common wire is our red and purple on this side.
fastener. I think it's going to work good. Right up here. And I also have some cable tie strapping. If I need it. I think I was better off on top. Make sure it's in a better spot here. Leave that alone. Nope. cold water on the compressor up here. That's going to do it. Anyway, now it's going to be a matter of starting it up, make sure we're not touching anything or leaning against anything. We don't want to. If we're not there, we're okay there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the disconnect. Disconnect. I'll plug it in. I'll leave you with the view. Wow. Maybe this was our problem altogether. Look at right here. Look at how loose that was. Making a bad contact there. So I'm gonna fix that up right now. There we go. Nice and tight now. Okay. I'll give you a look over here. And 
fired up. fan kicked on but the compressor did not kick on. Okay, round two. Okay, well, it's like 120 degrees. I got a compressor overheated. No fun. So I'm going to pull the lid off of this particular style unit and uh, take a look. Somebody's barbecuing. It smells pretty good. I pull the lid off and then check the compressor wiring as well as pour some cold water on the top of the compressor if it's just overheating. It's funny, it was up here yesterday and everything was fine. Yeah. Edison box had just kicked in. I'm going to be able to pull the lid up now. Not sure there was enough wiring to set this aside here. Okay. It's a little different style of a unit here. It's got a blanket over the compressor. Jeez. So that's no fun if that overheats. And it's hot. Man. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not liking this design too much. Kind of pull that blanket off. I did the spot where the wiring goes. Let's re make sure my capacitor's discharged. It is. Pull the blanket off. Let this puppy breathe. Ah, oh, it's way hot. Way, way hot. So now I'm going to get at the wiring. Till here. Before I do that, I'm going to pour some more cold water on the compressor. Yeah, that's boiling hot. Hot, hot, hot. I think our wiring is going to be fine. You know, it'll be easy. Compressor's bloody hot.
Yep. Cool that puppy down. Okay, that did the trick. Cool the compressor down. All the wiring was okay. I just put the fan on temporarily and uh, now I'm just going to see all the, I'm going to make sure everything gets nice and chilly. It is getting nice and chilly. Maybe just the fan motor had stopped running. The compressor ran without the fan motor. It's spinning the right way now, so I'm going to let it run for a couple of minutes just to cool the compressor off because the refrigerant actually acts to cool the compressor down. Also to make sure that we actually reach proper temperature. Then I'll put everything back together. We'll be good to go here. It's a little different style unit. Uh, glad it worked out. Bloody hot. About 122 today. Uh, can't all be easy. I'll sell for a few. Alright, so I'll give it a couple minutes and then pull the disconnect, put it all back together. Call it a day. Oh man, that was a rough one. Okay, got it all back together. Just gonna fire it up again once more. Make sure everything's good. Man.